Three new aces have found someone new to lead the team into the future. Andrew Nepson joins us now live from the newsroom with more details on the fresh face that will head up the Reno's AAA ball club moving forward. Andrew? Yeah, Kristen, for close to 10 full years, Eric Edelstein guided the aces through the ups and downs that come with running a minor league baseball team. But after accepting a new job as the assistant city manager, Reno needed a new leader. And today we found out the aces did not have to go far to find its new head. The aces stayed in house to fill their general manager spot, promoting chief operating officer Chris Phillips to take the reins. Now, before spending the previous year as the aces COO, Phillips spent the prior 10 years as the GM of the Colorado Springs Sky Sox, which was then rebranded as the Rocky Mountain Vibes. Overall, Phillips has more than two decades of minor league baseball experience. Combine that with the fact he's already gotten a lay of the land with a year in Reno with the Aces, and you've got a guy that's confident moving forward with what he and the club can do with the fan experience. Big shoes to fill for sure, but you know we've got an amazing staff here, and I want to give a uh, a huge shout out to them. There's a lot of behind the scenes work that happens in putting on an Aces game in a season and uh, we've got some of the best in the business right here. I mean it is all about the fan experience right so constantly trying to improve upon that. Um, you know that being said we've got five major renovation projects that are going to be happening at the ballpark over this off season. so in the next few months things are going to be starting to happen at a fast and furious pace uh, to be ready for opening day March 31. Phillips mentioned some major renovation projects, among those two new party areas that will be constructed. He says to just be prepared for a lot of fun new things at Greater Nevada Field for the upcoming season. And of course, we'll have more in our later shows on the hire and what's to come. But for now, from the newsroom, Andrew Nepson, 2 News Sports.